Welcome back to Impossible Shots. Today, Cisco is fanning down steel plates. Well, the initial shot was shoot at a 10-inch plate just for a warm-up. And it took me more shots to get that thing down. I think I run three shots at it finally. Then we went to an 8-inch plate to tighten things up a little bit. And that's exactly what it does for me. It just allows me to bring it down and get a tighter focus, as opposed to just walking up and trying to split hairs. Now we're going to hit a 5-inch plate. 5-inch plate's going to flip back and pop a can in the air. The plate was a, what I call a reactive target. When it falls down, it trips the lever and kicks a soda can up in the air. And the second shot takes it out. I need to stop and watch and clearly hit the plate and knock it down, send the can up in the air, and then get after it. And now we know why he needs his fast draw competition gun, the benefit of the gun's custom hammer. If you're shooting at something that's this big around with something that's flying through the air, sometimes this way, sometimes this way, and I've got about a two-tenths of a second window of time to actually get the shot off before the can disappears out of sight. I like this gun because the hammer's built up, and this is an old standby, an old comfortable shoe, you know, that it works well for me, and the hammer functions the way I want it to. This gun has to be able to go two shots pretty quickly, because once the can started flying, I've got to be ready to go. He is, and so are we. Let's go. Now we're warmed up. Missed it. Reload. All right, so we hit our plate. What happened? Couldn't find it. Once I get it kicked up in the air, I've got to have the presence of mind to go back at it again. And I'll be up there ready to go. I mean, this is a set position for me. So I'm prepared, but I've got to watch it, track it, and then fire the shot. And as you said earlier, sometimes when you hit that frame with this hand, it does knock things off. Right. Primary draw has no effect. But the recovery shot, lots of yeah. effect. Say when. See, that one didn't flip up fast enough. Ammo, please. This is proving to be tough. Shot after shot after shot. Until finally. There we go. That was good stuff. That's a wrap. But hold on. We're not there yet. Check the replay. Cisco nails the steel plate on the first shot. But the second shot hit the crossbar and deflected the wax bullet up into the can. Pretty impressive. But not the impossible shot we're looking for. Not only the master gunfighter, the honorable gunfighter. Only way to be. Reset and try it again. Frustration creep into this at all? Sometimes. When you know you can do the shot and it's happened a bunch, of, I mean, I did it three times in 20 minutes at home. But like I said, I've got a reference point where I know I can make an adjustment. And here I'm shooting into space. It's hard to tell. Plus the wind plays a small factor into it. At any point now, is there some little voice in your head going, come on, Cisco? Uh, about 20 minutes ago, yeah. <laughs> All righty, let's go. There we go. Thank you, God, Buddha, Allah, Jesus, everybody. My chi was all lined up, everything was focused. I think those uh, Mexican food I had last night finally settled in and allowed me to accomplish the shot. Clean through. We'll take this one home. There we go.